About to kick off with the Welsh national. Here is David Fitzgerald. Be a long run to the first uh, fence that they take. It'll be in the back straight. And uh, there are for the £150,000 Coral Welsh Grand National. 18 fences instead of the usual 22, and 20 runners charging to the turn with Ask the Weatherman, Vintage Clouds, Buckhorn Timothy, Wild West Wind, front rank with the previous winner, Emperor's Choice, the white sleeves and the dark cap blue jacket, Chase the Spud. Cheek pieces the outside, Alfie Spinner, Vicente, the sheepskin noseband, to the outside as they make the turn. Then on the inside, in a roundabout seventh, the dark green sleeves, Bishop's Road, with uh, Bears Affair, Beware the Bear, I should say, for company, along with uh, Raz de Marais. Milan's Bar is back in the field with Rathlin Rose, Mystery held up, along with O'Fwalen's Boy, and also towards the rear of the field is uh, On the Road and Firebird Flyer, as they're about to lift off for their first. The first of 18 fences that they'll take, and now settling down into order with Chase the Spud, Wild West Wind, Vintage Clouds. Ask the weatherman the two shades of green, the maroon and yellow stripes, Buckhorn Timothy. These are the front runners as they come to the first. And em Emperor's Choice crashed out at the first. Emperor's Choice down, the horse is uh, quickly up, but he's an early casualty, Emperor's Choice, as they move on to an open ditch, number two, Vintage Clouds, Wild West Wind, and Pobbles Bay made a mistake at that one. O'Fwalen's boy chased along towards the back of the field as they reach the third. Wild West Wind just uh, lifting off with the advantage at that one, in company with Vintage Clouds, Chase the Spud. Alfie Spinner to the outside, on the inside is the prolific point-to-point -point winner, Ask the Weatherman, and Buckhorn Timothy next. Final nudge the pink jacket is in the chasing group along with the rehearsal chase winner beware the bear they've come round what would normally be the uh, fourth fence the fourth of six omitted in the back straight today and now they move on towards the penultimate one on the far side firebird flyer is in uh, midfield and we've lost one towards the back of the field at that as they now come on towards the next this will be the final one in the back straight and it was on the road that went at the previous obstacle. On the road, out of the race there. Milan's bar is just struggling a bit at the back of the field with O'Fwalen's boy. So they've jumped their first five and getting towards the end of the back straight. Chase the Spud, Alfie Spinner, Wild West Wind and the grey vintage clouds ahead of Ask the Weatherman, Sil Sol. The purple jacket on the outside of the jewel Scottish national winner Vicente as the Badger Ales runner-up final nudge. The pink jacket is just chasing the leaders with uh, Beware the Bear and Buckhorn Timothy. Bishop's Road for Kerry Lee, a previous winning trainer of the race with Mountainous. Then on the inside of the red jacket, Rathlin Rose. These are followed then by uh, Firebird Flyer, the runner-up in this two years ago, ahead of stable companion Pobbles Bay, the light blue Adam Wedge. Mystery is next in the field with uh, three behind. They are Raz de Mar Milan's Bar and O'Fwalen's Boy as they reach number six, the first in the home straight this time. And all those still standing, clearing it without mishap, as it is still Vintage Clouds under Danny Cook, Ask the Weatherman and Nick Schofield on the inside. Chase the Spud, Patty Brennan, an open ditch is taken as the next one, which again, they all clear O'Fwalen's Boy at the back marker. They're coming around the third obstacle in the home straight, so it'll be a, a long run between three out and two out, the next time around. Still in midfield is Sil Sol with Vicente and uh, Rathlin Rose. Bishop's Road sticking to the inside, Jamie Moore, and then Robbie Dunn on last year's Ida winner, Mystery. The orange and black checked sleeves as they come towards the next, the penultimate one in the straight. Also back in the field is Firebird Fly with Raz de Marais, Pobbles Bay, Sheepskin Noseband to the outside as they run to the next fence. It's number nine of the 18. Next time round, it will be the last, and a bold leap there by a Wild West Wind in the hands of Adrian Heskin in company with uh, Vintage Clouds and Chase the Spud. Ask the weatherman for Jack Barber in his uh, first season with a full licence, racing just in fourth place. Alfie Spinner is uh, next, the veteran, on the outside of uh, Beware the Bear. And then final nudge, Rathlin Rose, Sil Sol, Bryony Frost to the outside. She's just nudging on that one. And then Buckhorn, Timothy and Bishop's Road. Vicente is next from Pobbles Bay. And the back cluster, Mystery, Firebird, Fly, Raz de Marais and uh, Milan's Bar. 
O'Fwayland's boy has been pulled up with a circuit to go, and this is their final circuit in the Coral Welsh Grand National. Tom George's Wild West Wind, the winner of the trial here last month, with the narrow lead to chase the spud, last season's Midlands National winner. He's also won this term as well at Haydock in company with uh, Vintage Clouds. Alfie Spinner to the outside, Richard Patrick. Rathlin Rose just making a, a couple of places under Tom Scudamore with uh, Beware the Bear and Jeremiah McGrath next. Ask the weatherman, who can be a little bit idle, just being shoveled along on the inside. Final nudge still sitting in, about seventh or eighth from Bishop's Road, the first one in the back straight once again. Silsol is next in the field with Pobbles Bay. Vicente looks to be struggling, so does Buckhorn Timothy. Mystery is also well back in the field with Firebird Flyer, another open ditch, the second one in the back. Vicente blundered badly and unseated there. Sam Twist and Davies on the deck. Vicente is out of it as they come to the third one. Oh, Wild West Wind got that horribly wrong and fell and badly hampered but where the bear Firebird Flyer also on the deck. So drama at the third one in the back straight. Wild West Wind who hadn't put a foot wrong up to that but made the error there. Horse is uh, up on his feet, Firebird Flyer being led around and uh, galloping away, hopefully OK. Wild West Wind as it is now, Alfie Spinner and Chase the Spud, Rathlin Rose in third as they come to number 13. It's the penultimate one in the back and Alfie Spinner. And a, a bad mistake there, an awkward landing from Vintage Clouds who looks to be retreating now as final nudge gets closer again. Also there towards the outside is Pobbles Bay making his move as Alfie Spinner throws himself bravely over the last one in the back, a mistake there from Beware the Bear, who was hampered and is now struggling badly. They've got four left to jump, and it's Alfie Spinner, the 13-year-old that leads the way in the Coral Welsh National. Final nudge is still full of running, seemingly, under Aidan Coleman, with Pobbles Bay the outside, Rathlin Rose the inner, Bishop's Road, another one for Kerry Lee in the chasing pack. Chase the Spud has dropped back to sixth or seventh now. Ask the weatherman, still driven, then Silsol, Razda Mare, Beware the Bear, trying to pick them off again with vintage clouds as they're on the turn back towards home and there's a cluster of uh, five of them that are just coming away by a few lengths now and that cluster is headed by Alfie Spinner Pobbles Bay for Evan Williams on the outside final nudge David Dennis's runner is in there Bishop's Road Rathlin Rose the inside these five have just come away now from Silsol the fourth last Alfie Spinner led there to Pobbles Bay final nudge is still held together in between them Rathlin Rose the outside, Razda Mare is running on from the back of the field under James Bowen's gone into fifth place. Vintage Clouds is keeping on again as they get over the last ditch. That's the third last and it's Alfie Spinner who's giving everything in front here to Rathlin Rose. Final nudge asked a question now with Razda Mare, the 13-year-old, 13-year-olds one and two here. Alfie Spinner to Razda Mare who's really picking up ground, grabbing Cromwell's Razda Mare as they come to the second last. It is is Alfie Spinner. What a heroic effort, but Razda Mare joining him now, and Razda Mare just lands in front of Alfie Spinner. Final nut in third. Rathlin Rose four, Silsol five as they come to the final fence then. James Bowen on Razda Mare coming into it. Razda Mare gets over it. Alfie Spinner in second. The veterans leading the way home here, and it is still Razda Mare that has the advantage. There's a length and a half up on Alfie Spinner. They're clear of final nudge, and it is Razda Mare coming home, a dual court national winner wins the Coral Welsh National for Gavin Cromwell and James Bowen. Razda Mare the winner, second Alfie Spinner. What a bold try in third final nudge. Uh, Silsol disputing the next position with uh, Vintage Clouds and then Rathlin Rose. Well done to Gavin Cromwell, contrasting results, because obviously famous Millie was a faller, but then up on her feet, thankfully, and this fella chasing was the other oldest horse in the race, 13 years of age, with the youngest man on board in the race. Well done, Gavin. And some little horse, he's brilliant, he's such, such heart, he's brilliant. You know, he just doesn't know how to give up. He's, oh, he's a fabulous little horse. They were the perfect partnership, creeping into a race where plenty of them went far too hard up front. Absolutely, lucky, give him a peach of a ride. There's only three years in the difference of their age, <laughs> James and the horse. That was fantastic, brilliant. It's a lovely story. Brilliant, yeah. And watching the race, did you see it was going to unfold like that? Were you thinking he was going oh, to get I, there, I just, turning for home? I was never. I mean, look at it. He was, he was flat to the boards down the back, but I was never panicking. Um, he was much further back in, at that stage in the race last year. 
um, I knew he'd, he'd stay he'd st he'd stay gone you know fantastic really an Alfie spinner also 13 years of age I, di I didn't even I, di I couldn't have told you what was second to be honest <laughs> worry about that brilliant stuff and plenty of your owners here today as well yeah yeah uh, All behind you jimmy swan senior is at home watching it on tv he's um he's, he's just he's a bit unwell at the moment but uh it's fantastic for him and supporters of famous millie just a, a brief word she's okay she was just winded. yeah she's fine she was just winded she's okay thank how God. does it feel to have won a coral oh, national fantastic brilliant brilliant super <laughs> well done thank you thank you well, where is where is Dan? That was an absolutely thrilling race to watch. I almost felt quite emotional because Kerry Lee has such a fine record in the race. Her family have won it. Well, her father's won it twice. She almost won it twice there with Alfie Spinner, who just jumped from fence to fence. But then Rath Marie reeling him in and a great story with the young man on board. A completely evergreen 13-year-old. And the remarkable thing is the jockey's only three years older than the horse, so... What an achievement. I mean, it's been an incredible season for James Bowen anyway, and it's now just been wrapped up another notch. He's won the national in the country of birth. It's an incredible story, and it's a horse who was second in the race last year behind a subsequent Gold Cup-placed horse in Native River. He's gone one better slightly over 12 months ago because of the rescheduling and has taken the prize back to Ireland. And I think... Lots of the fancied horses paid the price of being up there early doors. Wild West Wind was jumping very well, but then fell, hampered one or two others, and quite a few of them folded because I think they thought maybe the ground wasn't that bad. But let's not forget, this is a Welsh national. Yeah, in terms of the stamina test, it probably wasn't the out-and-out -out slog that it can be. Of course, it tested stamina, but it wasn't a case of last man standing in the straight. So they've done a great job with the ground here today. And jumping was the more attritional thing. We lost Wild West Wind. The tone was set early when we lost Emperor's Choice at the, the very first fence. Um, Vicente departed just as the race was starting to develop. So there are a fair few through, through mistakes, but the, the ironic thing being that Wild West Wind had jumped absolutely superbly and then he just stood off too far out at, the, at one in the back. His fall hampered a few others. It led to the unseat of Firebird Flyer, I think. And Milan's bar was also hampered in the backwash. So there were thrills and spills, as you'd expect for a race like this. Yeah, right from the very start. Absolutely. The tone was set early. But what a, a, an amazing story. A 16-year-old rider who's made a real name for himself, able to win the, the national in the country of his birth on a horse who so is only three years his, his junior. An amazing tale. It was indeed. Brilliant scenes here. And I know that they're all going to be posing for pictures now. Uh, James is going up there with... the. Uh, Gavin Cromwell, of course, the trainer of Razda Marie. We'll go back to the studio. Thrilling race to watch, and what a fairy story. One of the oldest horses with one of the youngest riders, Cat. Yeah, and I think it's records have been broken, Zoe. I don't think ever, well, at least in modern times, there's never been a 13-year-old that's ever won the Welsh National. Um, absolutely incredible. And who would have thought that the two old-timers would have been first and second here as well? Razda Marie, the winner at 16 to 1. Alfie Spinner second at 33 to 1. Final nudge ran another great race at 12 to 1 in third. And Vintage Clouds, 7 to 1 favourite, did well to get fourth. He made a bad blunder in the closing stages, but he kept on going, which was important, and got, got into the frame in the end as well. Tremendous stuff. Well done. So isn't that interesting? Raz de Marie, runner up as an 11 year old, wins it as a 13 year old the following year, if you get what I mean.